are you? My name is Vanessa. Welcome to my naked face. Um, so to the, today I am going to um, an event. So I had a little extra time to film myself putting on my makeup because a lot of people ask like, what do you do with your makeup? And I am not a makeup artist, but I figured I'd do a little makeup tutorial. And this is just from what I've learned attending makeup tutorials. We had uh, what we called a sip and paint a few weeks ago. So I'm just going to share with you what I learned and maybe it'll give you some tips for you. Um, so the first thing I always do is put moisturizer on. Make sure you get a good moisturizer that's going to really hydrate your skin, but also absorb into your skin. Because some moisturizers, a lot of them have filler in it, and it'll just sit on your skin and make your skin look greasy, and then none of your makeup will absorb. I also use very light makeup, so it feels like I'm not wearing anything. I don't like really, really heavy makeup. Um, another tip I do, and clearly I haven't done so because I am as pale as cats for the ghost, um, I put a tinted moist or a tinted tanner. Um, sometimes I mix it with my moisturizer to give me a little bit of extra color. Um, and then I just find you just look healthier, especially in Canada in the middle of winter. Um, I haven't been away yet. I'm going away in a month, so I will have a tan then. <laughs> um, so that's the first thing. The second thing, or the third, whatever, I'm going to mix up my numbers the entire way through. Um, I then put a primer on. I've already put my primer on and my moisturizer, so I'm just trying to save time. So primer is basically like a polyfill for your face. It'll fill in any fine lines, wrinkles. It'll really make your makeup go on a lot smoother, um, as well as allowing your makeup to last a lot longer. Um, so primer is a really good trick, especially if you're putting on, I find like a tinted moisturizer or a CC cream or a BB cream. Um, it'll allow you to use a lot less product and the makeup will really go all over your face. There's quite a few different options for your face. Um, I do use a CC cream when I'm looking for just an everyday glow and it has really good coverage, but I, it is a little bit more dewy. So it just depends what you're looking for. My CC cream's a little bit more dewy. My foundation is a little bit more matte. Oh my goodness, Penelope! <laughs> How does she do this? One second, I have to move her. She's like on the table. Penelope, you can't put your makeup on. Okay. You are no longer there. Okay. Well, there you go, Facebook Live. Penelope loves being on camera. Um, so yeah, so your CC cream's a little bit more dewy. My foundation's a little bit more matte, so it just depends what kind of look you're going for. Another trick is if you want it a little bit more dewy in your CC cream or in your foundation, I use like a sheer glow highlighter and I just add a little bit of the liquid highlighter into my CC cream or into my foundation and it'll give you a really nice glow. So I am not going to put the CC cream on because I'm going to an evening event and I don't want to be dewy. Um, so I want a pretty matte look. So I'm going to go straight to my foundation. How I apply my foundation, you can do it with your fingers. Um, or you can just do it with like a flat brush like this. Um, I use a really soft brush. It's better for your skin. So I'm going to apply this. Um, I actually put, everyone has their own little trick. I put um, some foundation on my hand. If you go to a makeup supply store, they do have, um, they do have really cool like metal things. So you don't get makeup all over your hand. But I put makeup on my hand. So then I just put a little bit. The lighting is not so great here but we're going to try this anyway. And I have the mirror just beside the camera. I also, so embarrassing, burnt my neck while doing my hair the other day um, for an event with a curling iron. It looks like a hickey. It is not a hickey dab. Okay, so there we go. I am like super easy about it. Um, I do not like high maintenance. I just put, make sure I put my foundation like under my eyes if I have any blemishes or red spots. It also gets a little bit red here um, on my chin. I also put foundation on my lips. So this is going to make it look a little bit funny as we go through, but I like the foundation on my lips because then it's a good foundation for when I put my, um, my lip liner and lipstick on later. I do have lip chap on, so I'm going to quickly rub it off. Um, so we're going to put a little foundation on my lips. 
there's also a really cool foundation applicator right now and it's just like a silicone um, medallion and it's really cool um, because you, lo you lose uh, a lot less product and so it's really handy okay so as you can tell I'm not a makeup artist let me get my my little thingy over there from my curling iron there you go super simple all over that's the foundation then I go over top if I have any blemishes if it's that time of the month or whatever I just use a concealer so I'll put a concealer on a couple blemishes under my eyes and I use the same brush um, and any other red part spots that I need a little extra coverage. Voila. Super simple. Um, then, if you really want to, extra, extra coverage, you can use a pressed powder. Um, this is a really awesome brush. I love it. It's super um, dense and just applies really nicely. So you can use a pressed powder if you want extra matte um, and to set it again with extra coverage um, and then if you really want to you can do a loose powder and that will kind of set it you can just go all over your face like so you can see I have a pretty even um, look right now even more cast free than I was before um, now we're gonna go to my version of contouring again I'm not a professional makeup artist so this is my version of contouring I keep scratching my nose because my nose is itchy. It's, um, it's a little bit dry. So, what I use, these are super handy. These are highlighter sticks. So, there's like a bronzer-like one and then a highlighter one. Same thing as using this bronzer-like one and this highlighter-like one. This is just liquid. Those are sticks. I find the sticks easier to use. Um, they are awesome. I use, I love, right now I'm using all Arbonne makeup. It's just, I like the way it sits on my skin. It's vegan, gluten-free, and it tests within naked skin within 10 minutes of putting it on. So I like that. Um, but here are the highlighter sticks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it kind of right under my cheekbone so that I look like I have a, have a nice definition. So I'm just going to put it there. You can see I am not being precise. I'm putting a little bit here, like in my hairline, and then I'm putting a little on my nose to give it like an elongated look. And then if you want even more definition, we'll do it now, is you can put it along your chin and then a little bit down. Okay? Look how beautiful. Woo! Then you can do the highlighter. My highlighter, I put right down the center of my nose with a little dot on the end, under my eyes, around you can put some on top of your eyes right here above your lips and if you wanted to you can put a little there it's more like down the center of your face kind of thing um again not a professional just as far as i go and i feel really sophisticated when i contour my face so this is what i look like with contour and then i use this fun little brush super easy here i blend these ones first and push it up towards my cheek Look at that. I'm sure I make the funniest faces when I'm putting my makeup on, and now you all get to see it. So welcome to my home. So I'm going to blend this super easy. I'm going to blend the nose. Imagine I went out with my nose looking like that. It's hysterical. Um, and then I'm going to blend this up into my hairline. And then don't forget the neck, or you're going to look like a skeleton. So I do my neck last, and then just pull it down to blend it into my face oh oh almost on my titties okay there you go contour how do i look i will give put a picture and show you guys but again the um the lighting here isn't super spectacular but you can kind of see what's going on from here okay so now i'm going to use blush so i really like on me i have like kind of like a light pinky color um, and like a Merlot color, burgundy, really love it. Um, just depends. This I use like every day. This I use if I want a little bit more pizzazz um, and or for an evening event. It is a casual event I'm going to today, so I'm going to use just like the light pinky color. 
And we're just going to put a little bit on the cheeks and pull out. Kind of like on the apples and pull out. Make sure, really, really important, don't get too much product on your brush. So throughout, we haven't used too many brushes. This would apply with the loose powder. But with the, um, with the blush, just make sure, like I do nothing. If you want, you can go like this to make sure you don't, it just caps off any excess. Um, and then you just put it there. Okay, super easy. If you want a little bit more color, you can also do that with a bronzer. So, um, I'm just going to grab a little extra bronzer, put it there. Um, easy peasy. There we go. There's my base um, I'm on my face. Okay, so I'm going to keep the bronzer here for later. Um, and then I go, I put it out so I don't forget. Um, but just like you want to prime your face, you want to prime your eyes. This will make sure or help your eye makeup not to crease as much, as well as keeping it on longer. And, oh, it'll also make the pigment of your eye makeup a lot stronger and more defined. So I'm just going to put this on quickly. You can tell. Super easy. You can tell really, I mean, I'm talking to you guys. But when you're doing this, it really does not take that long. My makeup probably takes me 10, 5 to 10 minutes to do daily, and that's like full, full pushing it. But I'm going to do a little bit more dramatic eyes today, so that'll take a little bit longer, and I like to kind of take my time. So I'm just going to put this makeup primer, and I'm going to pull a little bit under the eye um, because I put a little bit of makeup under my eye, Okay. Um, here we go. So if you're just joining me, welcome to my eye makeup and makeup tutorial. I am not a professional, but wanted to show you a little bit of what I do. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go to my eye shot or my eyebrows. For me, eyebrows are really important. It makes you look really defined and uh, just complete. I just use my eyeshadow and I get an angle brush and then I just color it in super non fancy I have seen which is really cool um, I brow stencils and I do have one of those um, and I really enjoy that also some people like to use um, I do have a really good eyebrow I do have a really good eyebrow gel um, as well as a what do you call it, pencil? But the pencil's too, for me, just too defined, and I'm not good enough at my eyebrows with that, and I don't really like that look. You can also pull it a little bit further to give you a little bit longer, um, to give you a little bit longer eyebrows. This is hard to talk and multitask at the same time. Okay, so now we're going to use base eyes. So I'm going to show you if what I was going to do every day, and then I'll kind of build upon it for a more nighttime look. So I just use a very um, neutral, what is this called, linen, vanilla type of color. I'm going to put it on my eye. Look how I open my mouth really funny when I do my makeup. I'm just going to put it here and then underneath my eyebrow. And I'm going to also put it here because it will kind of open your eye up. And then under my eyebrow. Okay, super simple. Low maintenance. There we go. Okay, and then if I really wanted to just add a little bit of contour for my day, I can go back to my bronzer, get this is just like a little flat brush, and then put it in the crease. Okay, so you can see it kind of adds a little bit more definition. Very simple, um, but effective. So there's the bronzer right in the crease. And then I just add my eyeliner, my mascara, and I'm good to go. But because I'm going to show you a couple of layers, I'm not going to put my, um, my eyeliner on right now. So what I would do is do the eyeliner that I'm doing for the next one on this. And you can kind of pick and choose, okay? So now we're going to create a little bit more of a dramatic look. So I want you to choose three colors. With There should be a gradient in color um, and depth and intensity. So I think... I like purples, browns, blacks with my eye. Um, I'm going to go with, hmm, yes. Okay, I'm going to go with the purple, brown, and black. 
like I just said. Okay, I'm then going to get my brushes ready. So you need an extra brush that you are going to blend with. And make sure you have a, um, what do you call it, paper towel to kind of rub out your brushes so that you don't get too much product. So I'm going to grab this brush and I'm going to start to build up. So I'm going to get my lightest of the colors. So I'm going to use my plum and I'm going to pat it just on my eyelid. So for the record, everybody's eyes are a little bit different how I do my eyes. So I have kind of smaller eyes. They're set in a little bit. So I want to, my goal is to pull them out and make them look bigger. So here we go. So you can see I have the plum on my eyelid here. You can already see. I mean, maybe it just looks like I got my eye punch, but it is a little bit bigger there. Then we're going to go into the next one. And I'm going to kind of go, so it's going to be more, it's going to be darker here, closer to my eye. And then I'm going to blend right up to my crease. Okay, darker here, blending right up to my crease. And again, it does not have to be perfect. A lot of people will use um, tape along the edges. It scares me. Oh, sorry, I'm shaking that because I'm wiping off my brush. Okay. So that was the plum. Now I'm going to go to the brown. My brown, again, don't put too much product, is going to go in my crease. So my brown is going to go in my crease. It's also going to go along the edge here to open up my eye. Okay, so now I'm going to do the other eye. It is hard because the light is not great here. A little bit easier in my bathroom. Okay. So we did the sides with brown, pulling it up, sides, pulling in and there. I'm going to also get my blending brush right now and just blend it in a little bit. So my blending brush has no product on it. Okay, and I just like to pull up a little bit and take the excess from there. Okay, now we're on to the last step. You can really see how my eyes look right open. Okay, now I'm going to grab a very, this is for a little bit of the extra detail. This is a smaller brush, um, and I'm going to get my black. So with the black, I'm going to put a little bit here, okay? I'm going to put a little bit here, and then I'm actually going to put a dot there. Do you see that? So I'll do the other side. I'm going to put a little bit of black here, a little bit of black here, and a dot there. So I put it here in the corner, and then just at this corner of the crease, and then a dot here to open up my eye. Same on this side, okay? Alrighty. Awesome. Okay, there's my black, and if you want, you can blend it in again with your blending brush. Okay, I do not know what this is going to look like, and when I watch this video back, I know I'm going to laugh at my mouth. It'll be open the entire time. Okay, so there's that. All right, so now I'm going to go into my eyeliner. So I like to use black, or this is like a charcoal color. I love these eyeliners because they have little sharpeners at the end. So you just pull it off and there's the sharpener. Super cool, huh? So, um, and this is, I mean, I love these pencils, they're super easy. So I'm just gonna do, so when I do my eyeliner, I do my eyeliner kind of a um, three quarters of the way in on the bottom and top because again, I have smaller eyes and I wanna pull them out. So I want to create, not a cat eye, but like that sort of look, I want to pull them out. So I'm going to show you. So I'm going to do, okay, I really cannot see my right eye, so we'll see what happens. 
So we're putting this three quarters of the way in, not the whole way, on the bottom and the top. Now this is the same eyeliner I do for my everyday. So super easy. So I have the eyeliner now. What are you going to do with the rest of your eye, Vanessa? Well, I'm going to take my black and an angle brush and I'm going to blend it so it's not so harsh. So that I put product on my angle brush and I'm just going to go across, blend it in. And then this way I can go a little bit further in on the top and the bottom. Okay, perfect. There we are. You see? Now, you still want to do what you did to the top to the bottom, but I don't want to create too much drama. Sorry for every time I shake. It's because I'm cleaning off the brush. Um, so I'm going to get a little bit of the purple plum that I used and just put it underneath so that I get a little bit more dimension and fun color. So I'm going to put it underneath and then pull up. Pull it underneath and pull up. Now, because I'm going to just add a little bit more drama, because sometimes I can be dramatic, I am going to put some liquid eyeliner and create wings. Like this, wings, okay? So when you do your wings, I actually will do my outline with shadow. So what, the wings should always kind of go from your bottom. Again, I'm not a professional. This is what I've learned. So depending on your eye shape, you may need to go by different rules. Um, I have an amazing makeup artist. I know a few if you want me to put you in contact with them. So I pull it up um, so that I can kind of see what shape I want to do on the eye. And I'm going to do it on this side too. So pull it up a little bit. Does that make sense? Okay. Send me some hearts and, and likes if it's making sense to you. Uh, thank you for following me on my makeup journey. Um, and then I'm going to do, so I need the angle brush, a really nice fine angle brush. This is my tip for liquid eyeliner because I do not know how to use it. I'm going to get my liquid eyeliner and I just use my angle brush and I take it off of the applicator onto my angle brush. I'm going to have to stand up and get closer to this mirror so I can do my right eye because this is serious business. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I legit have my mouth open the entire time. Okay, so there's the one eye, you see? So I'm going to make sure I get enough product on here because this is almost done. Again, I'm going to paint it on my angle brush. Look at that! Woo! Got my little wing! Perfect! And then if you want, I actually will put a little bit here on the bottom. Not all the way, just here. Right in the crease to make it a little bit darker. And be careful, because if you open your eyes too big at this point, you'll end up getting your um, you'll end up getting your liquid liner on the rest of your eye, which is never good. So, and we are almost done. Woohoo! So, I'm put my mascara on. Ooh, look at the difference because now you're going to see one eye and not the other. Are you ready for this business? Okay. You could even put too close if you want. So, put it, I try to wiggle my hand while I'm applying. And I do the top and the bottom. Let me know, comment below if you also keep your mouth open when you do your makeup. <laughs> okay, next eye. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Get the edges. And then if we really want, we can put two coats of mascara. I love this mascara. It's super light, it's really elongating, and it doesn't clump. The brush is magic, look at this brush. Super pretty, huh? Cool. See, look at that, beautiful eyes. Okay, lip time, to go along with my kisses that I send you. 
I always, 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 always love to use lip liner. This will really define your lips. And if you want the Kardashian look and you kind of want to fake it, you go just above your lip. Um, so I just have, what the heck is this one called? Tulip. It's like a light pinky. So I go with my everyday lips. Um, granted, I really love reds and, and purples. But with my everyday, I try to go just either the same color as my natural lip or one shade darker. So I'm just going to put the lip liner on. I can't talk when I'm doing this. Okay. Now, This is the basic lip liner. Trick is if you want your lipstick to last longer, color in some of your lip with the lip liner. If you want your lips to go to be bigger, to look bigger and appear bigger, leave this part, the centers, and don't color those in. So you have a little bit of um, the white so it just looks like it's more subtle. So I'm gonna color in See, so I colored in a little bit here and then the sides there, okay? Do the same on the top. So I have my lip liner, color in here. Uh, a little bit under. See? And then I'm leaving this whitish. And if you really wanted to, you can even take your foundation brush that you were using before and dab a little bit of white there. So, I also, to make it look less harsh, I just take my finger and blend it in. See, there we go, right? Perfect. Um, okay, now, sometimes I just put a lip gloss over this because it looks like I have lipstick on already. Um, or you can also use a lipstick. Um, the lipsticks, I, so MAC lipsticks are awesome. Um, they have really great pigments and colors. I just find them a little bit dry. Um, so for my everyday, I like to use something a little bit more moist. But because I use lip liner, I test it out to make sure that throughout my day, I'm not going to look like one of those people that just has lip liner and all the rest of my lipstick is gone. So I want to make sure that it fades nicely throughout my day. Uh, and again, you can blend it. This is a pinky. It's called Lotus. It's like a pinky with a little bit of extra purple. As you can see, I like my purples. So voila, this is my finished face. And if you really want, you can make sure you can put another layer of mascara for that super glam. For the super glam, right? Because who doesn't like to be dramatic? There we go. Okay. Well, thanks so much for watching my makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions about the products that I used or any of my tips or you want a referral to an amazing makeup artist. Um, I have lots of resources and I'm super happy to help you. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Sending you so much love. I hope you have a beautiful day and enjoy your evening.